Don Westfall, along with Dan McCarger. Last time this weekend, we get a chance to talk to you before we close out the broadcast. And again, we'll see you in about a month when Bemidji State's in town. And obviously, Dan, uh, fourth largest crowd of the season here in the building. A lot of excitement because people anticipate, boy, the Mavericks, a win tonight. They can really put themselves in a great position to win the regular season championship, create some distance. We knew a little bit better. We were concerned coming in because we knew, obviously, Bowling Green tough. They were going to have the pushback that Mike Hastings told us about. It was there. And in the end, we don't really change anything. Mavericks are still in first place, and that's what we need to remember. We still are in first in the conference, but obviously the disappointment with the 3-1 loss tonight. They needed to come in and sweep. They didn't do that. So the Mavericks, you know, took care of business on their home ice by getting that win Friday night. But after you get that win, you really want that second one or at least a tie. Um, the goal that uh, Cole Huggins gave up, um, uh, it's just a tough one. And it's so hard for a team to battle back from something like that when you know it's going to be a tough game in the first place. So just one of those mistakes that happened. Uh, it happened at a bad time for the Mavericks, and it ends up uh, where it may have been the, the deciding factor in the game. You, you score one goal, it's it's tough to win, obviously, as well, and you're playing a really good goaltender and a really good team. So these these two teams, uh, assuming they make the NCAA tournament, they could make some uh, they could make some noise. Wouldn't be surprised to see one more matchup between these no, teams uh, in the WCHA tournament as well. Let's get into the highlights right now, and again, the first goal, a tough one for the Mavericks to swallow. You'll see Cole Huggins here just loses control of the puck, gets between his legs, and Mark Cooper, unassisted even strength at 18-22, is 11th of the season, makes it 1-0. I'm going to get a real nice look at a goal here. Dylan Marganeri on a deflection on the power play from Flanagan and Utsi at 9-17 to even the game up. Marganeri on the power play, his third of the season. Now Bowling Green will come back. Cooper, there will be a little bit of a battle out in front. The puck just lays there. Cooper gets a hold of it, knocks it in for his 12th from Bayless and Mercier at 14-31. That makes it 2-1 after two periods of play. Only three shots on goal in the third period for Bowling Green, but here's the biggest one. Little pass from uh, Pole Camp to Bayless at 15-23, and that finishes the scoring. And uh, Bowling Green, 3-1, final score. Game summary, Don, is uh, much as you would expect. Pretty close. Shots on goal. The Mavericks actually with a pretty good third period. 15 yeah. shots on goal, but 33 for the game, 33-24. Mavericks won for four in the power play. Face-offs, they win 44-33, but... Three to one, you only score one, you usually lose. And uh, again, that first goal and you give it up and you're going against a guy whose goals against average is less than two. And again, you get caught up. Last night we yeah. scored five on him. That was not the norm tonight. No. It was the norm from Chris Nell. Well, yeah, he gave up six goals on the weekend, and that's above his average. And, you know, in most goalies, you give up six on a weekend, three and three, you're, you're, you're doing pretty well. Well, that's way too many for him normally. He's, he's under four on a weekend normally. So Mavericks got all the goals in one night, and if they would have got him maybe split, maybe it's a little bit better off. But... This is this is what happens when you play a good goaltender and a good team. Sometimes you get beat. Take a look at our Jay Beal real estate play of the game, and it ends up being the uh, goal that kind of finished off the night for the Mavericks. And Mavericks, as Coach Hastings was telling us, they were pinching. They were trying to get the equalizer, and here comes Cole Camp along with Bayless. Yep, and they finished. You know, they, they get an odd man rush, and, and sometimes you don't finish these off, and it's a 2-1 game, but they, they finished, and... That put the game away. That's our Jay Beal top four play of the game. Jay Beal Real Estate Group does the little things that make a big difference. Let's take a quick look at the out-of-town scores. Michigan Tech with a sweep over Lake Superior State. Northern Michigan downs Anchorage. Uh, Ferris and Alaska coming up. Miami upsets St. Cloud 3-2 tonight. UMD over Colorado College 3-2. Penn State and the Gophers split 5-3 today. And then uh, Michigan gets a split with Michigan State 4-1. Yale over Harvard. Cornell shuts out Princeton. It's Quinnipiac with a win over Colgate tonight. Notre Dame downs Vermont and New Hampshire 3 2 over UMass Lowell. So, Mavericks lose 3 1, but in the end, just like we were when we started the game tomorrow night, all is calm. I feel like I'm talking to Dan <laughs> Animal House. All is calm. We're fine. I'm yep. not Kevin Bacon, yeah. but the Mavericks are still in first place and they go on the road. And again, the, the, the concern would be one, Huntsville hasn't played for a week. And that's a long road trip yes. down there. It's, as you mentioned, not easy to get to. It's a team that has two very good goaltenders. And, and on any given night, if a goaltender stands up, you can be in trouble. But the Mavericks, these are two ga games next weekend that they should win. They would be favored to win. And if they go down and take care of business, they will win, and they'll come back uh, with the lead in the WCHA. So after the Huntsville, the Mavericks off a week. Then they go to Alaska Anchorage. And then we are back here the last weekend of the regular season 
It should be a very exciting weekend <laughs> of hockey because the Mavericks, hopefully at that time, will we'll look to close things out. Hopefully the trophy will be in the building, and we'll bring you that broadcast again the first week of March. Minnesota State Mankato taking on Bemidji State to close out the regular season. But one more time tonight here from Mankato for Dan McCarger and myself, Don Westfall, and the students from Bethany Lutheran College. We brought you this one tonight, and in the end, it's a 3-1 win, Bowling Green over Minnesota State Mankato. We will see you in about a month.